Ignore the fact that I'm at the gym, but this girl today goes, Oh my god, Mishy, you finally look like a teacher. It's the cardigan, thank you. Yeah, there you go. Smile. Zoe, look here. Gage, quit looking at her back. I know. What? Get it off of her. Okay, you ready? Peace. People always coming at me like, oh my God, you're going to look really plastic. You're going to look fake. But that's exactly how I want to look. Plastic and fake. My parents were like, guess what? At the end of the school year, we're gonna be moving to a new continent. So I was like, this changes things. And I remember we only had a few months of the school year to go. So instead of like just causing a scene, I was like, I'm gonna be smart and calculated about this. So I waited till the very last day of the school year to be like, guess the fuck what? I hate you guys. I'm not coming back. Like I'm leaving. Like I refuse to write in anybody's yearbook that year. Or if I did, I didn't write nice things. But I was chilling because I was like, you know what? My time is up. Like, I'm getting out of here. Like, I'm free. Like, y'all can do whatever you want. Like, this was like fully like the last day of school. Like, I told everybody how I really felt. And it got to the point where I was like, you know what? Might as well tell this to everybody who's ever been mean to me here. So I just like went off and I was just like, I don't like any of you guys. Like, I'm literally leaving. You can all stay here with your drama. Peace out. Bye. So I ended up moving. Um, I moved from Germany to Canada. And sorry, this was supposed to be sushi, but it got really into the story. Anyway, so I, a couple, fast forward, okay? Fast forward a couple years later, I'm living happily in Canada. This is like two and a half years later. So I'm currently enjoying my first year of high school, ninth grade in Canada, just a bunch of like strong female friendships, like just thriving, no drama. Everyone's grown up, everyone's respectful. Miss Greenwood, hmm. can I have some of your candy? Mm, no, no, sure. I'm hungry. Miss Greenwood, can I have your chips? Y'all will be hungry. Yes. Y'all gonna feed y'all the morning? Let me see something. It's payday. Yeah, it's payday. <laughs> I got paid today. Yes, Miss Greenwood. Oh, okay. Y'all want some pizza? Yes. Don't tell the other class because I ain't got time. Okay. I'm just doing this for y'all. I have the kindness of my heart. She got a heart. Okay, so don't tell nobody. Don't tell the you hear me, Lewis? Yes, ma'am. Cause I won't give you number pepperoni. Yes, I'd like to order ten pizzas. Thank, Thank you, Miss Greenwood. Thank you. I got money. I got money. That's your man. Yes. The guy from Scream. No, 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 no. Ghostface is your man. Why? Why not? I don't think he'll really support you and your family very well. That's a good point, but why are you want to be with a serial killer? Sacrifice. You're gonna fix it. Hello, motherfucker. Okay, are you ready to go? Oh my god, what did you do? I put eyeliner on, but you only put it on the bottom and in the waterline. Honey, your eyes look small and beady. Here, let me help you. No, what, mom, you don't know anything about makeup. This is how Kat and Jenna wear it. Honey, Kat and Jenna have brown eyes. You have light eyes. Your eyes look scary, like headlights. Why don't you try brown instead of black? Ew, no, mom, no one wears brown. It looks good, like you just don't know anything about makeup. God. Raise your hand if you were made fun of for being flat chested in middle school. They would call me nicknames. Flatter than the earth. Door. Flat Stanley. I remember I liked this one guy. He told me he liked me back and people started making fun of him for liking me. So he told me he didn't want to date. The day after he told me that he started dating somebody. And I thought the only reason he dated her was because she wasn't flat chested like me. I remember putting on one of my justice camis and stuffing my training bra, doing the old scoop and lift and taking a selfie to post on Instagram that night. I just wanted it to look like I didn't have mosquito bites. And the day after I walked into school, everybody made fun of me. <laughs> but I think the funniest part about all of this is that all of the guys who made fun of me are in my DMs. Waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. I just wish things would get better. I'm trying to get rid of them. I'm in middle school now! I've been waiting all day for this! I can hardly sleep last night! Oh, I just hope it's-
at least some of my friends stay in my classes. Mom, did you pack the clothes? Throw on the table? Okay. <gasps> it's my favorite shirt! How do I look, Mom? <gasps> you got me a phone, too? I don't care that it's an Android, Mom. At least it's a phone. Oh, let's see what you packed in my lunch. A PB&J, my favorite! Give me a second, Mom. I'm tying my shoes. All right, I'm ready for school. Let's go. Oh, I hope Taylee's there today. I just want to get her number. Hmm, what can my Instagram username be? <gasps> I got it! Matthew the Savage! Everyone will think I'm cool. Man, that sucks that there's no recess. But I have two PE classes. That means I'll be able to show out for Kaylee. Actually, Mom, I can walk myself out to the stop sign. I'm a middle schooler now. Why do you have two different rocks on? Not too much. Take that hood down. It is. Really? I didn't do nothing. I didn't even do it. Take those AirPods out. They're not even on. What are you doing? Making a TikTok. The bell didn't even ring yet. And I'm almost safe. Where's your ID? Why are you always worried about what I'm doing? Why do you have your phone in your back pocket? I don't. It's in my locker. I can see it. It's in my locker. Stop running. Nurse, my stomach hurts. Can I have some ice? To the right. Whatever. Are you doing your lesson? Yes, I am. All right. Stop it. I wasn't touching touch her. her. Really? No. We didn't even touch each other. Bring it over to my place. Really, I need it. Who cares? But I know you care. Bring it over to my place. You don't know what you do. Bitch, to me. You got it right. Speaks to me, I don't know what you do. Get to me, you like it, I like it. Speaks to me. I don't want to go, I don't want to go. Sure, please. Please, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Yo, Luke M, I can't believe Friday's the last day of school. I know, right? Then we're gonna be freshmen, baby! Freshmen! Oh, hey, Lexi. Hey, um, y'all do realize that when we get to high school, we're gonna be bottom of the food chain again, right? What? Like, right now, we're eighth graders. We're the coolest kids in the whole school, but when we get into high school, all the older kids are just gonna think that we're totally lame freshmen. Nah, that's not gonna happen to us, right? I don't know, it might. No way, I'm gonna make varsity basketball and then we'll be instantly popular. How tall are you? I don't know, like 4'11"? Yeah, so there's this one kid on the team who can dunk. No way! No way! Babe. Babe, can you dunk? I don't know. I've never tried before. Try it then. Okay, I forgot my basketball at home, but let's see if I can touch the rim. That was really close, babe. Yeah, well, I'm not wearing my basketball shoes right now, so. Oh my god, I totally forgot. Did you ask Drew if he wants to be Cassie's boyfriend? Say what? Oops, I forgot. Yeah, so Cassie thinks that you're, like, super cute, and she wanted me to ask you if you wanted to be her BF. Yeah, that sounds cool. Awesome. She's right over there. You should go tell her. No, that's awkward. Can you go tell her for me? Sorry, I can't. I have band next period, and I have to run in my locker real quick to grab my clarinet. Okay, that's fine. I'll just write her a note. Okay, bye, babe. What was that? It's our secret handshake. You guys are like totally gonna get married. I know it. Yeah. Oh my god, I just had a horrible thought. What? What if we have to go to different high schools? Oh my god, Lexi! Uh, I'm not finished. Oh my god, can you let me do what I need to do? Ready. So, sorry, was that too soon? No shit, Sherlock. Okay, you can hit me back so we're even. But if two dudes were throwing hands and their crush is watching... They're about to fight to the death. But the thing is about middle school fights, I, I didn't know this was possible, but somehow both motherfuckers end up losing the fight. I remember one lunch at my middle school, a dude whipped out some boxing gloves for no reason at all, and all of a sudden we're running a whole fight club. Kids would be betting their lunch money on who's gonna win and shit, but we never laid down any ground rules. So one day, JJ hit Timmy with a spinning back fist and put his ass to sleep. And I'm hyped, because I just doubled my lunch money. But Mr. Principal didn't seem too hyped to see one of his 
students knocked out on the ground. So of course JJ gets in trouble because he's just that one kid who's always in trouble but never got expelled. Like I could have swore dude was on his third strike five strikes ago. But man, middle school had some characters, bro. There was that one guy that would walk through the halls, blast the music on his speaker. The kid who used to sit in his chair like this. The dude who hit puberty and midlife at the same time. Uh, Mr. Donaldson, can, can I get some help on the subtraction? <laughs> help on the subtraction? You look more like you need help on your taxes. <laughs> no, subtraction's just hard for me. During recess, do you go check on the wife and kids? <laughs> no, I, I just play on the monkey bars. Tell me, how do you manage to be in middle school? And work a 9 to 5 job at the same time. <laughs> the girl who thinks she's a horse. The emo kid. Catch him in the back of the class with his hoodie tied up watching sad Bart Simpson edits. The kid who had to touch the top of the door frame before entering a room. Girls who have to bring their Starbucks cup everywhere. The dude who's constantly emoting. And in order to find the answer, we can make a grid. Did, did someone say gritty? Right foot creep. Ooh, walking with that heat. Of course, there's the kid who Naruto runs through the hallway. And then there's that weird ass kid who accidentally called his social studies teacher mom one time. <laughs> it was probably an accident though. <laughs> Fuck! And I have no idea why, but. Michael likes you. Really? Which one? H? D? Oh, Michael C. M Michael C. Likes me. He's like the cutest guy in her grade. I know. If I wasn't so happy for you, I'd be drowning in jealousy, like not doing my homework for a whole week so I get attention, so I feel something other than jealousy. C type of jealousy. Like, oh. What did he say? He passed Larissa a note in earth science? Yeah. He wants to see you on the playground. Oh my god. For, for what? He said he wants to hold hands with you. Wait, stop. I've, <laughs> um, I've never, I've never done that before. It's like totally fine. Like, you'll be fine. I did it once with Tyler H. And it was kind of gross because his hands were just kind of sweaty. But does this mean, are we boyfriend and girlfriend now? I know. This is like, you've peaked. <laughs> Over it, or just want to, are you just this, is, this is what I'm, I'm just acting. Oh, that. you're not gonna say okay, right? So that's why it's a little loud. So I forget. <laughs> I got 30,000 on my neck, 50,000 in my mouth. You're poor, get out of my face, shut up. That's what I thought, bro. But you're not annoying. So I was thinking, I got money. I got Emma Grills. They're not, it's not a gum wrapper. It's not. Well, please be my girl, I've been trying for six months. All right, by popular demand, here is another presentation. This little beauty was about Brazil. Started out pretty normal with a flag slide with a bunch of information about its history. We have the capital city, looks good, normal. And then we move into a, a quick sponsor break. By who you might ask? This slideshow is sponsored by Te Epic Duck. Can't wait to see what that looks like. Okay, it looks like that. Epic Ducks. All right, and then we're into the music in Brazil. Lots of cultural music. And then we have. Epic link here, another epic link here. I am terrified. All right, I mean, let's give it a whirl. Epic link. And naturally she ended it off with Rar. If you could have seen my face while she presented this. Goodbye, my son. Luke, 
Sam, you gotta come see this. What's going on? Sarah and Lexi are having a full-on cat fight over you. <laughs> you did not just do that. You know what? That's what you get for putting these on everybody's locker. Well, I only did it because you poured water on me at the Valentine's Day dance. <laughs> okay, well, I only did that because you tried to steal Lugam from me. Oh, this is awesome. I never tried to steal Lugan from you. Whatever. God, you know, I know you're like obsessed with him. Oh, I'm obsessed? Do you want to know something, Lexi? I have been trying to get between you and Luca. Yeah, obviously. But it's not because I like him. Actually, I don't even like Luca at all. What? The reason I've been doing all of this, it's to get back at you. What are you talking about? Oh, so you don't remember two summers ago? Why don't we just remind everybody then? Wait, Sarah, no. That looks so bad, I don't have to drive you. It will not hurt my feelings if you want to take the bus. Not what it means at all. So what does it mean? It's like something's cool or something looks good. Oh. I'm gonna use it today three times the right way. I got this. Okay. Thank you. This is bussing. Beep beep. She's bussing. If I'm not mistaken, these numbers seem to be bussing. Okay. Um. Hey, don't forget I have to leave on Wednesday to fly to New York. Okay, not bussing. Why would I take a bus to New York? How'd it go? It went good. It uh, it did. It went it went good. <laughs>